Hold everything, there's an Echo Park on sale in the Soul Shard trading thing for only 860 Soul Shards. I'm currently at 622. I just need 238, if my math is correct. I need to do this. So we're jumping straight into this episode of creating a... Oh wow, and it's a lucky one as well. Would you look at that? Okay, that, that's really good. And would you look at this? I have everything required for the crystal. Now, I don't think that the store is actually going to reset. It is quite late here, and I think I've seen it reset um, prior to this time that I'm actually recording this video. So I don't think I need to be in a rush. Plus, I only need 200 and something. And with us taking the Soul Hunter Tier 2, in a few a few episodes ago, I should say, uh, this should be a fairly easy task. All right, I haven't actually gotten a villager set up just yet, a villager system set up just yet, but this <laughs> will have to do. And just like that, that should be everything. And we got a crystal complete. And thing. All right, time to go to the wardrobe, get changed, and then get right to it. I think I got everything on me, put the crystal down again, no modifiers, we're just gonna go ahead and do this right away. Plentiful and difficult. All right, and it's a scavenger too, it looks like an easy scavenger as well. Now, again, I'm not gonna focus too much on looting, I want to find a good room where I, where I can do a bunch of mob killing. We're off to an exploding start here, ladies and gentlemen, one would say. Oh yeah, this is exactly what we need plenty of mobs to kill. I mean, if I can complete the scavenger hunt, ow, while doing this as well, I will not complain. Antonio, Antonio, this is, this is dangerous. This is quite dangerous, actually. There's a lot of them, but this is great. This is exactly what we need. Currently at 667, less than 200 to go. Or 700 shards, only 150 or so to go. Seven hundred and sixty-one, less than one hundred to go. In fact, I need exactly ninety-nine. Eight hundred and two, I just need fifty-eight more. Let's just say I have plenty of the zombie brains and the 27 blood vials. 869 shards, perfect. I got 11 minutes to roam around this vault and see if there's any good treasure around. I will see if it's possible for me to get the, t the 12 things that I need, but I highly doubt it. I mean, 12 minutes is quite a long time, so maybe it is doable. Put some pants on, man. Okay, that wasn't fair. Come on now. Ooh, we do have plentiful, so maybe there's some vault wars in this. I mean, I got enough saddlebags now, so all I need now are those three green thingy things. Parfum, yes, please. Gorgia Knight, yes. Oh, hey, Scout. Hi. Welcome to the vault. Didn't know you were running one, too. I got four. I need eight more. So far, it's not looking the best. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it because uh, I'm scared I'm gonna <laughs> not make it through this room once I go back. So I think I'm just gonna head back slowly. I got some loot though. I did get quite a, I did get a few ores, which I'm really happy about actually. Oh, hey mate. Oh yeah, my health is actually a little bit low. I do want to take a quick peek at this. <gasps> oh, it's an all room. Are you kidding me? Uh, I wish I had found this earlier and sooner and everything else because I, there are ores that I need that I could have potentially found here. Well, I have one minute and 30 seconds. I'm just gonna go ahead, 
take the ones that I can actually see. Ah, oh, man, that sucks that I didn't realize this before any time sooner. That sucks big time. Well, unfortunately, it is time to head back. I would have really loved to stay in that room a little bit longer just to get optimal. Oh, dear. Optimal loot. Okay, yeah. Uh, got everything? Yep, I'm out. <laughs> My health was getting a little bit low as well. Not too bad though. Who we? But we got 897 shards. And if we go in here, I'm just gonna buy it right away. There we go. We now. Oh no 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 no! Give me that! Give me that! <laughs> we have our very first Echo Pog. That is awesome. Now, if you are curious, that is the recipe for an Echo Pog. It is extremely expensive. You would need two perfect Echo Gems, which means you would need eight. Echo gems in total and also the park itself. Well, it's quite expensive as well And in fact, I was just looking at our ores and our gems What kind of what which which gems we actually have and we are missing two gems Which I have not found throughout this series at all So far and those are the topium and the eupaline gem. I haven't found ores for these gems whatsoever yet. If we get those, we'll start. Be, we'll be able to start making our own parks. But for now, we got an echo park, and what can we actually use for this thing? Well, a bunch of stuff, but mainly stuff like the ME crafting table, uh, crafting terminal from Applied Logistics. And if we keep going, we will also. We also got the Auto Trader from EC Villagers. I believe that's a mod you need to unlock as well. But we got the controller from Refined Storage. We would be able to make that now. It, well, once we get Refined Storage, <laughs> we got the. ME controller from Applied Energistics. Yeah, the, it's very useful. The crafting grid for refined storage itself. Yeah, yeah, this thing is really, really valuable. You know what? It's even gonna get its very own chest right there. <laughs> That's how important it is. Now, when it comes to other loot, we got a bunch of ores again. We had plentiful. I would have loved to stay in that mine room for a little bit longer, but unfortunately, time was not with us. I went the opposite direction of where it was, which honestly really sucks, but oh well, it is what it is. But we still did get quite a few ores, so I'm not too mad about that. And I must say, our ore room is starting to get quite full. It's hard to maneuver in here now. We also got two statues, one generating dirt and one generating prismarine. Ooh, those two are good. We also got some traders, a weak vault magnet and an enchanted book. Okay, wait a minute. This enchanted book could... Yep, protection five. That is not actually something that we're able to just get on a book just like that. This is a very special book as it says upgrades and equipments existing enchantment level when used in an anvil. Protection five from Iskel himself. That is huge right there. That's not something that I want to use on my current armor. I think I want to wait till later game in order to use that. But yeah, that's that's huge. Other than that, we got some some other miscellaneous things, which you can all see right here. All of which are gonna go into this thing and this thing. I have done math. So my original plan was to take all of these decoration mods to decrease the cost of tanks. However, I have realized now that that is not going to be the most efficient way of going about things because there are other things that I, or other mods, I should say, that I really, really do want as well, such as waypoints, uh, sorry, waystones, elevators, and other things as well. And if I were to lower everything, these wouldn't be lowered at all. However, I would then spend two points on these two mods right here, not lowering any of these. And as soon as I tank tanks, it's going to raise the level or the price by one. However, if I go about things differently and save up so I can take tanks using three points, that is then going to, of course, increase everything, but then I can use points. I could utilize these two mods more efficiently by lowering the cost of everything else once I've actually taken tanks, which is going to increase the cost for most of the things. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So basically, I gotta save up for three knowledge stars, and we are really close to getting our first one, and, well, it shouldn't take too long with us being at vault 50. So let's run another vault. Let's craft a crystal first of all. Uh, mushrooms, why? That was easy enough. Actually don't have enough cobblestone for this. I really thought I would have had more cobblestone. Yes, fortune. Bed, cave, vein miner. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Nice. Now those. I think for that, nether it is. Yep. I think I needed like 12 or something like that. 13. Hopefully that'll do. Wow. 13 mushrooms exactly. <laughs> On the dot. And boom, crystal. Leave this behind. And I think that I am ready to run another vault. Oh, okay. Strong. Slowed. Optimistic. Rich. And unlucky. Okay, I really hope we get a vault, uh, an all room for obelisks as well. That That is going to be tempting. I think I might just look for a really good ore room, but also if I could get all the obelisks to maybe defeat the boss early on. Speaking of which, got the first one here. I haven't actually fought a boss at level 50. That could be interesting. You are fast, you're way too fast. <laughs> but before I do any boss firing, obviously I need to find all the obelisks, but I want to make sure that I don't miss out on an ore room, because that would really genuinely suck. Also, I got optimistic, so I do have time to take my time. <laughs> Oh, hey, me. Bye, me. No, oh, dear. Well, then. Ooh, that was worth it. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that one. A little bit too close for comfort, that one. Wait a minute, what did I just see in my thing? Soul of the Challenger! Seal of the Challenger turns a crystal into a raffle crystal. Ooh, I have never gotten one of those. Oh, wow. If I make it out the vault with that, I'll be happy. Okay, I have been wanting those for a while. We'll get back to that once we're done here. Ooh, I just made it. Nice. Ooh, and there is our second obelisk. Ooh, another one. Definitely don't want to fight the boss in this room. That's for show. Well, yeah. Ooh, maybe this room is a good one because of all the lava. But then I might. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm pretty confident if I have to fight the boss. Well, pretty. Ooh. Wait a minute. No, wait. No, wait. Go away. Paul, go away. Please go away. Anytime but now. This is an all room. <laughs> this couldn't be better timing because we got rich. This couldn't be better timing. Why don't I see any ores in the thing? Okay, yeah, th this couldn't this couldn't have been better timing. And with 18 minutes left, I can spend all the time I want in this room. This room is good to find ores <laughs> like that. Asium. How it's not just oh, how it's not just the ores that are visible. I'm pretty sure there are ores inside the walls as well, so that you can dig after. Oh, and there's one of these. I don't have one of those, though, unfortunately. Ow, don't do that. This could be good. This, this could be bad. This could be bad. This could be... Actually, it's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I see... Uh-oh. I see death. This could be... <gasps> I need that. I need that so badly. Please. Okay, actually. Good. I need that so badly. Chain, please go away. I need that so badly. Good. I'm now one step closer to getting our first crafted pog. If I just start mining, I might find ores in the walls. Yep, just like that redstone. So I can just keep mining all the stone and I'll find ores. Hopefully some good vault ores as well. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Honestly. Before I leave this room, the pickaxe is what's going to be breaking. Hey, Tuppo. Well, that's my old path. I guess I can go down a bit now, following the old path. Making a trench here at this point. Yes, Iscalium. As much as I want to mine in this room, I also want to defeat the boss. So that is still one of my priorities and objectives. I think my vault magnet broke. That's fine. So I risk it and just keep mining until I gotta go. I could find some valuable ores here. Well, honestly, the pickaxe is going to decide because it's gotta break soon. It's hard to stop, but I don't have another pickaxe, so I have to. Uh, long more Laramar. This is this has been good though. I do need to pick. I do need to pickaxe in case I do get in a tough spot. 
200 and something durability. Uh, 161. Yep, I think I gotta stop now. I think I gotta stop now. <laughs> if I, 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 I may need the pickaxe for like getting out of a sticky situation or something like that. Uh, I wish I had a spare though. I really wish I had a spare. Oh well, that was worth it. Definitely worth it for sure. Okay, now I gotta find home. Hopefully, find another obelisk on the way. No way, is that a? That's an. That, are you kidding me? Uh, well, well, it does have some durability, and at least here I don't have to vein mine a bunch of stuff that I don't know isn't there, you know, so I can go for it directly. So if I see something really, really valuable, ooh, <laughs> like this, <gasps> I need that. We can make our first park. We can make our first park. I've been eating that. Guys, we can make our first park. <laughs> oh man, okay. I don't want to overstay my welcome. I want to... I'm happy with that, honestly. I want to move on. I don't even know if this is the right way, to be honest. Okay. Okay, I know where one final obelisk is. I don't know where home is, though. So, I gotta figure that out first. Because the last couple of times I've tried... Are you kidding me? <laughs> one of these rooms, too? Well, it, I do have unlucky, so it, the room is not... Oh, that's another obelisk. The dig side room is not the greatest. This is not a good room fighting the boss in, though, either. And another one. That's the end there. That's the end there. Okay, I think I know-ish where I am. I'm, I'm just gonna do it here. I have confidence. I am confident. Um, I may be wrong about doing this, but... Oh, that's a, that's a spawner. Okay. Do I have... I should have hot apples. Why am I being punched off? That's not good. Get rid of these. Do I not have a power bar? I don't have power. Okay, eat these. Have this set to health. If I got any. There we go. Oh boy. This could be a bad room to do it in. <gasps> here goes, here goes. Here goes. Uh, the, uh, that's stash. That's not what I need. I need you, chairman. Now, because I got execute, all I gotta do is get this guy down to half health. However, he's not taking any damage whatsoever. Like, zero damage. Actually, zero damage. Okay. Whoa. Okay, he's taking more damage. And then, execute. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Uh, execute with that perk is amazing. Execute with that perk is amazing. I got everything? Yep, I do have everything. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out. I haven't had a boss room, or a vault run, should I say, that has been as good, I think, in quite a while as this one. This was an utter success. Got a lot of loot here, and we can now make... Well, okay, I should say, we now have the ores required in order to make our first park, essentially. However, there's a chance that I don't actually get the gem when mining it with fortune. There's also a chance that I could get more than one gem if I mine it with fortune. There's also the 100% chance that I'll get one gem if I smelt it. <laughs> so I don't know what I should do. Should I count, should I give it a go with fortune? Should I, ah, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go give it a go with like fortune or if I should smell that to guarantee that I get a gem. Cause imagine how, how I would be heartbroken if I broke both of those two brand new gems and I got nothing. So I don't think I'm going to break them in this episode. Let me know down below in the comments whether or not I should smelt them or whether or not I should use fortune. <laughs> Because I, I, I'm not sure. And I want you guys' opinion on that because that's a, that's a, that's a tough choice to make. However, we can go through the vault loot that we got. We got, of course, a bunch of other ores as well. We got two statues, one generating Gabro and one generating stone. Gabro. Yeah, that kind of looks cool, but I don't think I'm going to use it. So, I'm just going to go ye. And we got stone, which I think has a spot. Yep, there we go. Now I guess it's as perfect of a time as any. Is that even how you say it? To place these 
Volt ores in the right spots. Oh, we got a lot of Benutite from this uh, from this vault actually. Wow, 17 ores. We are not lacking anymore. We probably will soon, because I've got to probably at some point craft something. Uh, but <laughs> I mean, for now, we also got two traders: one selling vault leggings and one selling vault bronze. That is always welcome, both of them. Six relic booster packs, and of course, the seal of the challenger, which is a raffle crystal. Uh, player boss is Dowski. So basically, with the raffle vault, if I put this on a crystal, I have five minutes in order to defeat the boss. So find all the obelisk and then def uh, defeat the boss. If I do it within five minutes, I get a special crate, I think on Monday. So that is really cool and definitely something that I want to give a shot. However, not today. That will be for the next episode right here. It's going to go in the same chest as the Echo Park. So that is really awesome. We also got an unidentified vault chest plate, which I will run real quick. Also six star essence and a bunch of, of course, other stuff. You can see it right here. Oh, what do we get? Vault chest plate, five armor and 0.5 armor toughness. I mean, that looks kind of good compared to the stuff that we've put aside. It does only have one level while these things have two. And if I've scrapped these, then it's for a good reason. It doesn't already have any like modifiers on it. So meh, take a rank. Nope. And that's the loot done. We didn't get a whole lot of loot when it comes to like actual looting because we did get unlucky. However, we do have a boss crate. Let's open it and see. Oh, yes. Unidentified relic. I've been wanting the one of these for a long time. What else do we got? An unidentified vault sword, another chest plate, some boots. Nautilus Gel is always welcome because those are a pain to get and two mystery boxes as well. And Sweet Kiwi. Do we have any of those actually? Nope. We have had some before. All right. Pick a rank. Nope. All right, let's open this real quick. Ooh, I don't recognize that. That's because we don't have it. It's the warrior set, which is... Oh, it's a brand new set we've unlocked. Sweet. Well, not unlocked, but we've gotten. All right, let's see what we got here. Boots, trash. Chest plate, meh. Sword, also meh. And that was that. However... <laughs> Boom. Now, real quick, I really, really want to get Treasure Hunter. However, I've looked up the Flasks of Regret and there is none of them that says anything with Treasure Hunter or Artisan. So, I think when, whichever one of these I pick, it's basically permanent. I want to pick one of these. Treasure Hunter is really, really tempting for me because I love looting and I would love to get more luck when I actually loot. So I'm really tempted to go for this, but I can also see how this is really important at end game. So you guys, let me know down below in the comments which one of these things you suggest I actually go ahead and take. I have the skill points for it. If I can decide for the next episode, I'll pick one. But guys, this episode has been interesting to say the least. We got an Echo Park, our very first Echo Park, mind you. We got a seal of the challenger, which we will run in the next episode. We have the possibility of making our very first handmade pug if we do get the Tobium and the Eupoline Jam, because like I said, I can either fortune it or I can smelt it. Let me know down below in the comments what you think I should do. Should I should I be absolutely sure that I get at least one of each or should I gamble it and uh, risk losing, well, both of them. <laughs> but with that, I'm going to call this an episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, support the channel a ton. And if you're brand new, do consider hitting the subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And with that, until next time, have a good one and goodbye.